Hi guys, it's Rainy Math Person. Today I'll be going over question 151 on SL Exam P. So pause the video real quick and try this problem yourself. <laughs> Assuming you already attempted it, let's just dive right in. So they tell you that the probability that exactly one out of the of four damaged luggage is insured is twice as likely as that there is zero out of four is insured. So then that means the total number of damaged luggage, 27 choose four, and that's because there's 27 luggages that are handled and four of them are and four of them are damaged and then out of that damaged goods we're trying to see how many of them are insured so they if we're looking at one of them being insured and I'm gonna define R to be the number of insured insured luggages right then the number here is gonna be R out of the out of the insured luggages, we're choosing the probability that one of them is insured. So R choose one. If we already took all of them out, R out out of twenty seven, then there must be twenty seven minus R left. And out of that, uninsured luggages, we're picking three. And this is equal to the twice the probability that there are zero. So then it's kind of like the same formula, but instead of your if there is zero insured luggages, then there must be four other that's damaged divided by the probability of 27 choose 4 and as you may remember the probability f the combination formula goes like this n factorial divided by r factorial n minus r factorial and I'm, I'm not sure if this is helpful for you guys but this is how I remember it if it's if it's like 5 choose 2 or something like that I always go start from 5 and go to 2 places 5 times 4 and divide by the 2 and then go 1 2 times 1 go going back from backwards from there and then, then I notice, okay, so the denominator must be r factorial here. And the denominator, it, the numerator is n factorial, but then it's missing 3, 2, 1. And that's because it canceled with the bottom, right? So then I think to myself, okay, okay, then there must be, in the denominator, there must be n minus r factorial. I'm not sure if that's helpful for you guys, but that's how I mem memorize this formula. So anyways... So if it is R choose 1, anything choose 1 is just going to be R. 27 choose R. 27 minus R choose 3 is going to be equal to 27 minus R factorial divided by 3 factorial times 27 minus R minus 3 factorial divided by 27 choose 4. And that's equal to the twice. Anything, anything choose 0 is just going to be 1. 27 minus r choose 4 is going to be like this, 27 minus r factorial divided by 4 factorial times 27 minus r minus 4 factorial divided by 27 choose 4. But the thing is, um, when you, you can multiply 27 choose 4 on both sides and cancel those out. So you're left with r 27 minus r factorial divided by 3 factorial, which is 6, is 6 times 27 minus 3, that is 24 minus r factorial is equal to um, 4 factorial is 24, so that's 1 over 24. Numerator is still the same, 27 minus r factorial. Denominator here is going to be 23 minus r factorial. Cool, cool, cool. So then 27 minus r factorial actually just cancels out. So you're left with r over 6, 24 minus r factorial is equal to 1 over 24, 23 minus r factorial. And we know factorials are 1 less, right? So let's say if it's like 6 factorial, it's going to be like 5, 6 times 5 times 4 and so on and so on. So it's the same idea. We know that 24 factorial is equal to 24 minus r times 24 minus r minus 1, right? Because it be this is one less than this number right here. Factorial is equal to 1 over 24, 23 minus r factorial. Wait, this should be 12. So then these actually now cancel out. And you're left with, oh, this is multi-step. I'm going to bring the 6 on this side and 12 on this side. And I'm also going to bring the 24 minus r on this side, 24 minus r. So these become 2. 2r two is equal to 24 minus r. 
bringing it out R on this side, you get 3R is equal to 24. So then R is equal to 8. Beautiful. R is equal to 8. And then because we know that, now we can find the probability that exactly 2 of the 4 is damaged. 2 of the 4 damaged pieces are insured. So it's the exact same formula, 27 choose 4. And instead of R, we can plug in 8. And out of 8, we're choosing 2. Eight of, out of 8 insured luggages, you're choosing 2 that are insured. And that means 20, the number of uninsured luggages is 27 minus 8, which is 19. Choose 2. So then this is equal to 17550. The numerator is 171 times 28. So this is equal to 0.27. To eight, which is our answer C. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Otherwise, as always, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Bye.